TV Tune TV here. Let me do a quick comparison between these two radios. I got them hooked up to the same antenna. It's a 20 meter half square. Um, we're on um, 14240, as you can see. Take a listen here. So ironically enough, no signal strength coming through on this one. And then over here. You can hear the speaker difference. So one thing about the X6100 is you need the, um, oop. you definitely need the speaker. It's a nice little speaker that I got for it. So definitely the speaker much better on this. You can see I'm going way up on the signal strength here and I'm getting very little signal strength here. But the audio is the same. There's no preamp on either one of these right now. I have the preamp turned off, so. See what else we can find. So definitely a better speaker, but with this extra speaker on the um, on the X100, sounds much better. And that's a pretty crappy little speaker. I think I only paid twelve bucks for it. But if you're looking for an all-in-one radio that um, you don't need to add anything to, you don't need anything on this one. Except for a tuner, unless you got a resonant antenna like I'm running right now. But if you don't have a resonant antenna, that's where this one comes into play. Because it does have a um, tuner built into it. Whereas this one don't. So there's some sacrifices that's got to be made between the two. I'm not hearing anybody on either one. So let's uh, go see what we got. And another thing I don't predict, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about selling this radio, the FT-818. And don't get me wrong, I think at the time when it came out, um, it's, a, it's a great radio. It still is kind of a great radio. It's pretty... Um, it's built well and everything. The display um, leads a little something to be desired for me personally. Uh, as I'm getting older, my eyes are getting worse. 
So, and I just, I don't like the format. Everything's menu driven. Um, and it's hard to uh, push these little buttons with my fingers without messing up what I'm pushing. Uh, I believe that the layout of this one is a lot better. You got a lot more uh, function buttons and everything. There's the function buttons on the top. And then you got all the ones on the front. Everything's big, easily spread apart for the most part. Everything's too compact here for me. Um, and I don't like having to push the F, scroll through a bunch of menus to try and um, set, put a setting on when I could just hit like a radio settings here, for instance. Scroll to which one, hit it, you're good to go. So the ergonomics, I would say, of the X6100 are a lot better. Um, you can see the receiver quality is pretty much the same. I mean, they're both receiving well. M184.4. Let me get this one down there. Uh, it is nice to have the pan adapter on there as well. You know, you can see the signals, um, which this is obviously lacking. Like I said, it depends on what you're looking for. The one thing that I'm disappointed with this radio is when they, when they redid it. They didn't put a, um, a tuner into it. I don't know why you wouldn't want a tuner in a portable radio. And that's where this excels because it's got the tuner. The well, no, internal the speaker that, is I horrible, mean, oh, uh, but it's not unusable. Oh, what was that? It was a voltage divider. A voltage divider, and I these in and out, you know. And here the one. So that's roughly giving me an S8. This is a, like an S9 plus a little bit. And, you know, it may not be that it's not that much of a difference. The S unit, this may be off. This may be off. Hard to tell which one's right. I would tend to believe that um, Yesu, you know, a pretty well-known manufacturer, um... I would be more willing to trust the S meter on this one, let's say. But sounds good coming out of that X6100. And, of course, nothing now. So just a quick comparison. Uh, same antenna. I got the same size coax going into each. I bought these little jumpers intentionally uh, because they'd be the same size. So everything, uh, the comparison is um, equal when it comes to the way they're hooked up. They're both running off the same battery, for instance. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I like the display. I really do. I like this color display with the paint adapter and everything. And it doesn't need to be color even. Um, I just think that um, everything's too small on this. I have a hard time navigating through it. This I don't have as hard of a time navigating through. But, you know, the decision is yours um, in the end. And uh, what what you want to do with your radio, where you're going and stuff. This might be a little more durable in some ways. Although I've had this out in the field quite a bit. I've not had any issues. And I was going to compare it to the... Um, Lab 599, but for some reason I did not bring the power cord for the Lab 599. And I don't know, I'll have to look through my stuff. Maybe it's in the box, but I did not see it. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't make that comparison. That's a radio that I do, um, uh, I do like. That's a great radio. And although it doesn't have a color paint adapter on there, it does have a paint adapter. But I do like... Out of all the radios, I still think the build quality of the Lab 599 is by far the best for an, an outdoor um, uh, portable radio. And there's that right there. So you can see the size comparison and everything. Uh, I've had this out. It's like, um, rel it's um, let's say drip proof, I guess would be the best way to say it. Not necessarily weatherproof. But I've had it out in the rain. It's gotten wet. I haven't had any issues with it. I wish I had the um, 
power cord for it because I would love to play with that and show you guys a comparison on that one as well. KD2 ETP, I hope you enjoy this video.